Scratchy throats, itchy eyes, allergies, sufferers, beware. Saharan dust is headed this way. Health reporter Haley Hernandez explains how to deal with stubborn sinuses. You may notice all of the regular allergy symptoms with the Saharan dust, plus irritation to your eyes and your skin. So make sure you have an inhaler if you need one, take it regularly and pay attention to how long this dust is here. The dust comes from the world's largest desert. The particles are small, about a tenth the size of human hair, but the plumes are huge, big enough for NASA to track from space in years past as winds carry it about 3,000 miles across the Atlantic. This video shows how hazy the dust has been against the Houston skyline before, making airplanes seem like they're flying through clouds even on a clear day. The good news is the dust can reduce the chances of tropical storms as it can dry the air in the Atlantic. The bad news is it can pose a danger to people with lung conditions like emphysema and asthma. People with lung conditions should be extra cautious and stay indoors to avoid the dust, although that might be difficult since sometimes it can stay until July. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.